Why are we not seeing, folks? Maybe because we're like James and John instead of being like Bartimaeus. Maybe we think we're all exalted and puffed up and we're so righteous and we're so holy. We ought to get the, the prime seats in the kingdom of Jesus because look at me. I dress right. I'm not dressed right today because I got my t-shirt on. Don't like that tough. I don't wear any jewelry. I don't wear any makeup. I don't, I, my, my sleeves go down to my fingertips and, and my pants go all the way down to my toe tips. Give me the seat on the right hand or the left hand of the master. Bartimaeus is kind of like the publican. All the Pharisees are telling him to shut up. Quit interrupting my religion. Oh, Jesus, I'm such a sinner. Please, Lord, have mercy on me. And Jesus, who seemingly has ignored Bartimaeus up to this point, stops. Bartimaeus, what is it that you want from me? If Jesus really asks us, if he really just straight up asks us, what, what do you want from me? Oh, when I was younger, I would have immediately asked for material possession. I know that. As I've gotten more seasoned, my hair is very gray. That gray hair is a physical representation, but oh, let me tell you, my spirit is completely gray. I've seen lots of things. I've done lots of things. God has blessed me phenomenally. He's laid things at my feet. And I've been so wrapped up in myself that I let them go. The thought went through my mind on Monday morning as I started this set. Throughout many years of my life, the devil has planted the seed and I poured water on it so that it would blossom. Did you hear what I said? I didn't say God planted the seed. I said the devil has planted the seed. And instead of rejecting that and saying, I don't want anything to do with what the devil says, I pour water on it. And eventually you said, Jesus spoke to Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, how often would I have gathered you under my wings, and you would not. Now, your house is left to you desolate. Want to stand up in front of Pilate and say, let his blood be on our hands and the hands of our children. Your house is left desolate. Jesus hasn't turned his back on me. And he hasn't turned his back on you. But when we've fallen and fallen and fallen and messed up and messed up and messed up. It's like, Lord... Why the world would you want to come and make me your house? Mike, what is it that you want me to do for you? 
Lord, I don't even know what to say.